Now let's go back to the articles to see what this override attribute is about. And the article says the new override attribute is used to show the programmer is intent. It basically says, I know this method is overwriting a parent method. If that would ever change, please let me know. Okay, so let's do that. Let's just copy this override attribute and let's just put this override attribute over the top of the public function foo. Now, if I run this code, and I will basically just call foo on the new instance of the person, so I'm gonna just do this, and var dump that result, just like that. Clear my terminal, type php uh, index.php. We have some issues here because I'm not providing the person name. Let's just fix that, clear the terminal, run php. Uh, index.php and I get to see foo on the console. However, if we go back to the article, uh, the article says, I'm overwriting the parent method. If that would ever change, please let me know. So I'm gonna go back to my sublime text and I'm gonna remove the foo method from the parent class, just like that. So what happened here is that Previously, I was overriding the behavior of the foo method of my parent class. However, the foo method doesn't exist anymore. So if I run php index.php, what php will tell me is another person foo as an override attribute. However, no magic parent method exists. So it's telling me that you were you had this override attribute because you were kind of overriding the public function on the parent class. However, that parent function no longer exists, so this code won't compile and won't run. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this was a good addition to PHP? It's called the override attribute, and yeah, will be uh, on the new PHP version as well.